Hi everyone and welcome. In this video, we will see how you can convert your BACnet protocol data into MQTT protocol. Okay. So in this video, we are simply creating BACnet to MQTT converter, or you can also say BACnet to MQTT publisher. So this will be the our flow for this uh, video. We have a BACnet device running on our network. Okay. You can install YAB software and with the YAB software, you will get one BACnet device, which is a room temperature simulator. Okay. I will run this. And once it is running on our system, you can read all the points data of your BACnet device using Python. And once you have read the point data, okay, once you have read the live value from your BACnet device, then you can convert those value into MQTT. You have to publish those value to Mosquito MQTT broker. Okay, in my case, it is Mosquito MQTT broker, but you can also use some different MQTT broker as well. Okay, once we have published our backnet data to Mosquito broker, or we can say MQTT broker, you can then read those data into any MQTT client or any MQTT explorer software. Okay, so this backnet device will be our room simulator. So if you have installed YAB software, okay, I will provide the link of YAB software in the description of this video. You will get this backnet room simulator. So once you run it, you can see this is the room simulator and it is acting as a backnet device from my system. Okay, you can also check here backnet device ID is available here. So our backnet device is up and running. Now, now our target is to create a script that can read data from this backnet device and then convert it into MQTT data. Okay, so it will publish to Mosquito Broker and then we are creating connection with Mosquito Broker using our MQTT Explorer software and then we can read the backnet device data in the MQTT client software. Okay, your MQTT client software can be anything. It can be your SCADA, it can be your MES, it can be your PLC, okay, if we, if it is, it is supporting um, MQTT, okay, or it can be your Arduino, it, or it can be Ignition SCADA, anything it could be, okay, so you can convert BACnet data into MQTT data using Python, so let's minimize this one and we will open our Jupyter Notebook. So here is my Jupyter Notebook. In the first cell, I have imported the necessary functions and library, which is required to run this code. So let's run this cell and you can see we didn't got any error. So everything is fine. After that, I have created one function to get backnet device details. Okay. Backnet device name, vendor name, address and device ID. Okay. So in the return, it will provide this much information once we run this function. Okay. So let me run this. After that, we need to create connection with our mosquito broker okay in my case it is a mosquito broker but in your case it can be it can be your hive mq broker it can be your mq broker or it can be any other uh, broker either from ignition scada or cloud mqtt broker anything okay so as per your broker you have to provide ip address of your broker here and if your broker is secure then you have to provide username and password here to connect with your broker and then after port number to connect with your broker my mosquito broker is running on port number 1883 and it is running on my local system so if i open my task manager here and if i go to services here and if i search for mosquito then you can see here my mosquito broker is running okay so my mosquito broker is running on my local system so that is why i'm going to use this ip address and port number 1883 and here i am creating my client id okay and if your broker is secure, then you have to uncomment this line because you have to connect with your broker with username and password. So if your broker is secure, then you need to uncomment this line as well as you need to uncomment this line to enter your username and password. Okay. And then after we are connecting with our broker using this line. So if I run this cell and if I get output zero, then our python notebook or we can say our python client mqtt client is successfully connected with mosquito broker so he here in this case our python will act as a two things okay our python will act as a backnet client which can read data from our backnet device and our python is also acting as a mqtt client or we can say mqtt publisher so it will connect to our mqtt broker and then it will publish data to mqtt broker and 
on the other side we have an mqtt client so it can read those data subscribe to those topic and get the recent values so uh, here our communication is done i mean our python is connected to our mosquito broker now we have to set up our backnet device okay here i have used backnet.device in bracket zero so it will connect with my very first device okay in my network i don't have any device apart from this room simulator so it will connect to very first device which i have okay so if we break this into line by line sorry and if i run this cell here you can see it is using ip and port number to broadcast who is request okay so who is available on this network to connect with and then after it will discover all the devices okay so you can see we have got one response 3588107 so you can see here backnet device id 3588107 so only one device is available in our network and we are going to connect with this device okay it's a list okay so if if I put zero here, then it will uh, take this first element. Okay, so that is why I have put zero here. So if I run this, then it will connect with my device. And uh, here, okay, it is getting device information and it is connecting and it is building the point list for that device. Okay, so this device has multiple points like room temperature set points so if i set to comfort then temperature set point is 21 if i set to eco then temperature set point is 19 if i set to vacancy then temperature set point is 17 okay so it has a multiple analog input analog outputs and digital inputs and digital output point we can say binary input and binary output okay so point list is created now this is our main function what it will do is it will collect point detail from our backnet device okay and then after for each point it will take last value i mean present value of that point and then it will get properties of that point as a topic and it will publish to our mosquito broker okay uh, don't consider this okay because uh, this is some adjustment if i not put this here then it is not working properly i don't know why so that is why i have put it here uh, you can ignore this three lines okay and also you can ignore these lines okay so from the for loop what it will do it will uh, here we will get list okay point list okay so if i run this here uh, you will get some idea so okay and if you print points here see you can see here is a list okay for each point we have some value and we have some units okay so here this point will get this list of points and the latest value of those points okay i mean recent value or we can also say present value so it will get present value and then see here point dot last value so this one is the last value correct and properties dot name so this is the properties dot name temperature dot indoor temperature dot water so it will collect two things from this point list first one is this and the second one is this so the value will go as a message okay and this uh, properties i mean property name will go as a topic okay so let me run this main function and we will run our final function okay so our final function is running now i have to open mqt explorer to read those values because our python code is publishing data to mosquito mqt broker okay if we are not connected with our mosquito mqtt broker then we will not get any update okay so first thing we have to do is we need to connect to this mosquito broker then after we will get some update when our python code will publish data to mosquito broker so he, here you can see it will publish data to every four seconds okay so let me open this mosquito i mean mqtt explorer let me connect to my mosquito broker on the local host 
okay as you can see here we have all the topics which we have seen in this uh, point list okay so temperature indoor temperature dot water temperature dot outdoor you can see here indoor water outdoor we have the value of those points you can see it is changing and if you want to see the graph then you can click on this graph here and you will see the graph of temperature dot indoor okay if you want to see some more changes on the graph then you can set it to comfort and set point will change and according to this uh, backnet device once set point will change the temperature indoor will also got try to reach those set points so it will also increase to 21 degree centigrade okay okay so this is how it will work so here you can see here we are getting data of our backnet device into mqtt explorer with our python code so what we have done in this python code is we have imported the necessary functions from libraries then this function to get info of our backnet device then we are connecting with our mosquito mqtt broker okay and then after we are creating setup for our back zero library so this Python code will also act as a backnet device. It will try to connect with our room simulator backnet device. Okay. Then after we will discover, then after we will connect with our backnet device, which is running on my local system. And then you can see here, we have exported the list of point, which this backnet device is having. Okay. And then after we are going to read this point list, we will separate the values like last value and properties name and we will publish those value as a message and as a topic to our mqtt broker and with the help of mqtt explorer software we can read those values okay so even if my change to uh, change eco mode in the backnet device then you will see some drastic change in the temperature yeah you can see here the changes so it will update every four seconds so we need to wait for four seconds okay so this is how you can convert your backnet data to mqtt data okay so it's a simply our backnet to mqtt publisher or it's a backnet to mqtt converter in our python you can also add some conditions if your broker is not available if your device is not available you can uh, add some exceptions here okay it's based on our requirement so you can edit the code based on your requirement but this is the base code to convert your um, backnet data to mqtt data okay you will get this notebook on our github repository you can download this notebook from there you can try by yourself and if you still have any doubt in this you can ask me on the comment section you can also ping me on the telegram instagram or whatsapp okay so we will meet you in the next video and in the next video we will see how you can log your backnet device data into sql database okay we will first try to log data into sqlite database and then we will go further like mysql and mssql okay so i hope everything is clear in this video and we will meet you in the next video till then take care goodbye and thank you